Welcome to our community. Susie Thomas with you this morning. Always a pleasure to welcome Olivia <laughs> Hirschberger. She is founder of Simply Give, and good morning. Hi, Susie. Thank you so much for having me back again. I think some people might be new in town, and they might say, <laughs> well, Simply Give sounds like a nice thing. Yes. What is it exactly? So basically, Simply Give was created while I was at home surrounded with my four beautiful children. Um, And I wanted to be able to make an impact on our community from home. And so I was just trying to think of like a simple concept and what I could do to make an impact. So I came up with Simply Give. I would love the simplicity of our name because truly giving is so easy. You just simply start giving with whatever you have, whether that be your time, resources, money, um, just to kind of give back to the community and love on people around us. Mm. And you did this while, you know, you weren't already not busy. <laughs> you know, I mean, do, you're a mother of four. Yes. And the oldest at the time was how old? Um, I believe he was six because the <gasps> baby was about four months old when I started it. <laughs> so you kind of think, you know, a lot of people are just trying to keep their head above water at that yes. point. And you start a nonprofit. Yes. So basically, my husband, um, I told him I was getting the itch to do something to give back to the community. And he said, Mm -hmm. maybe you'll have a nonprofit one day. And I thought, you're crazy. Like, look at me right now in my robe, you know, bottles and binkies and diapers. Um, And then eventually, we did grow into a nonprofit. We obtained our 501c3 status. Um, I I believe it was two or three years after that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's been since 2016. So it's been like a real blessing to see how our page grew. Basically, I just started a Facebook page called Simply Give. Um, we started hosting events. And uh, like I said, the the generosity of the community kind of forced us to obtain our 501c3 status. It shows what you can do when with a, a great idea, a God-inspired idea, mm-hmm. as what one person can do. Because now Simply Give is so recognized around the community when you think of the honors that you've received yes. and so forth. Yeah, it's been um, a huge blessing. Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you. Um, going through some changes. Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? Okay, so in the past, we have scheduled different events throughout the year to have people give back. Um, And so this year, instead of hosting huge events, we will be um, partnering with Belden Village Mall. They reached out to us. And they want to become, you know, bring in some local organizations and local stores. So they said, hey, we're going to paint this uh, giving tree mural um, on a wall. And we would love to have a little door for you to accept donations for different items that you're collecting. So all through 2020, I will be partnering with Belton Village Mall. I love that they reached out to you. Yes. And they've got to love this because... Malls are trying to figure out ways to get people to come to the mall exactly. again. Mm-hmm. So here's a wonderful thing that's not go- you can't do this on Amazon. This right. is something that you need to actually <laughs> show up and, yes. and participate in. And what I love about partnering with the mall, a lot of the items that we collect are like tangible needs that um, are in the community. Like, um, for instance, our big thing that we're collecting through the end of February is new bras and new underwear for local women's shelters. Mm-hmm. And so Victoria's Secrets right there, they have a huge sale going on. Macy's, pretty much any of those depart- our stores have departments with huge sales on those items. So I love that people can be right there, drop off their items, maybe snap a picture and send it to us. We've been uh, getting lots of pictures of people dropping off items, which is so much fun to see. Um, and so everything is kind of right there, a one-stop shop. And then you post all of those? And yes. Makes a big, fun community. Yes. I need to correct myself. Amazon does have Amazon Smiles. So there is... Oh, I guess. Hopefully, yes. Simply <laughs> Give is one of those things that yes. you can do on Amazon Smiles. But go to the mall anyway. <laughs> so... What are when are you going to be there and when is the big fun okay, happening? So, pop-up stuff um, happening? Okay, so we are having this pop up night. Um, it's actually called Marty Bra. We host it the week of Marty Gras. So cute. It's kind of just like a fun girls' night. So we are doing a pop up at uh, Belton Village Mall on Tuesday, February twenty fifth. That's actually Marty Gras night mm-hmm. from six to nine p.m. So what we'll have there is um, just our table. We'll have uh, some games. We actually have Saxy Rob, who's a local saxophone player, there to play some jazz music. Um, and we'll be collecting those items. Um, one of the things that we really do need are feminine products because that is something that you cannot purchase at the mall. So if anybody is coming that night and wants to pick those up on the way, that would be incredible. Um, so yeah, just fun girls night. Text your mom friends. Text your girlfriends. Go get some Chick-fil-A at the food court. Come and see our table. <laughs> um, we actually have this girl coming who does gourmet cotton candy Ooh. with edible sprinkles. It's 
uh, called Art of Sucre, I believe. She's in Akron. So we try to make our uh, events or pop-ups a lot of fun and s- get some unique things. It's always fun. What makes cotton candy gourmet? Well, I should say it's more like adult cotton candy. Like it's, okay. you know how kids just are basic flavors. So yes. it'll be like more grown-up flavors, if you want to say fancier flavors. Fancier. And then, like I said, like edible glitter or pop rocks. And Ooh. I don't know. It's really cute. Super Where did cute. you bump into her? So we partner with a lot of local women-owned businesses. Yes. And my friend, Damara, with Reinspired Bride, she's a local wedding planner. She partners with us for all of our events, which is incredible. She makes it look gorgeous. And I saw that she had posted about her. So I had reached out to her friend, the, the cotton candy girl, we'll call her. And um, <laughs> she will be there. So I'm super excited. So much fun. Again, this will be February 25th from 6 to 9 at Belden Village Mall. Yes, and from 6 to 8, we'll have the the music, games, and um, cotton candy. And then from 8 to 9, we're kind of going to use that. If people want to come and help, we're going to count all of our items, sort them to give them to local organizations. Um, So the main event will be from like probably 6 to 8, and then we welcome help after that to help us count everything. What day of the week is that, I should know? This is a Tuesday night. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. So, yes. Great. Um, and a nice reason to get out of the house yeah. in February and head yes. on over to the mall where it's climate, climate controlled. Yes, and exactly. You can do all your shopping right there and yes. then donate it right there. Where For will sure. you be? What in front so of what? So we will be right in the middle of the mall, right outside of Macy's. Okay. Um, we have, well, we're going to try to decorate it really beautifully. And we would love for people to stop by, say hi, drop off items, chat with us, see how they can partner with us in the future. Um, and we're looking forward to just like a fun girls night. How does this differ? from the big events that you've done in the past by doing it a pop-up way? So the only difference basically is we have had our own private venues and took taking care of all the food, all the different um, games. Last year we did the local bingo, which was so much fun. So this year it is nice that we can partner with someone else like the mall to kind of take some of the weight off our shoulders. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully next year we'll be back uh, to doing our private venues, but we just thought, let's see how this goes this year. We believe that we can still make the same impact um, and maybe just not have as much event stress let's just say that i think it's brilliant (laughs) because yeah why um why not let them do what they do yes you do what you do exactly and are you still going to send out invitations or just have everybody just show up to the mall? So we do have a Facebook event. It just mm-hmm. says Marty Baral 2020. Yes. Um, so if people want to get more information and updates and um, we'll start counting the items. Actually, today I went to the mall. Uh, they had called me and said that our bin was full of items already. So I'm wow. guessing that we have almost 500 items already. So I literally just went and emptied that. Um, and so, yeah, we're hoping to get 4,000 items. So I'll be posting updates like that on our Facebook page, um, which is Simply Give, and on our event page, Marty Brawl 2020. Um, so people, I mean, they can just show up. They can come last minute, um, whatever works for them. Um, if last minute they can come, that would be awesome. But they can find all the details on that Facebook page. I'm just blown away that a month before this, you've already filled up the bin. Yes, it's a pretty good size bin, too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You know what I love about this, Olivia, is... Here's the problem with Simply Give events. They sell out (laughs) immediately. Yes, yes, yes. This way, if you want to go, you can go. Honestly, that is a great great perk is last year we did sell out at almost 200 tickets. There's a lot of people that wanted to come because our events are so much fun and we try to make them unique. And so, and um, the other thing I love is this is a free, a free event. Mm -hmm. So that's nice that everyone's welcome. If you can only, if you can come and afford to bring one pack of pads, that's amazing. It doesn't matter. You're not having to buy a ticket and buy items. Just show up, be generous, and give back to the community. So instead of buying that ticket and buying a cute outfit to wear to this event, spend all that money at the mall on the items that you donate. Yes, I love it. Yes. There you go. Makes it so (laughs) easy. Okay, that is Mardi Gras, February 25th. Tuesday, February 25th, 6 to 9 at Belden Village Mall. And look for you at Facebook? Yes. You can find us on our Facebook page, Simply Give, or on Instagram at Simply Give OH. You also are doing a neat thing with, you've always been known of doing, just being aware of, hmm, how can I surprise somebody? Yes. It's nice to be nice. Mm -hmm. Those random acts of kindness. But now you're doing something very intentional as far as random acts of kindness. Yes. So this year, since we aren't hosting our big events, it's been nice to take some of our funding and do random acts of kindness in the community. So each month we have a give that we do or a random act of kindness. Um, In January, we took um, a good portion of money and went to Sam's Club. 
club and stocked a whole cart up top to bottom for snacks for Maslin Middle School kids. Mm. Um, they have um, basically a percentage of kids so high that the whole school gets free and reduced lunches. Um, and so we wanted to be able to be able to feed kids, you know, when they're not at school getting lunch and breakfast. Right. And so um, the day after I dropped them off, I actually got a message from the guidance school counselor saying that someone had come in late and they had missed breakfast um, because they were late and um, they hadn't eaten since lunch the day before at school. Oh my gosh. And so she said they were so happy to be able to go through the snack closet that you guys provided and pick out items. And so that was what we did in January. And then I believe in February, we might be um, delivering flowers to single moms for Valentine's mm, Day. Nice. Um, and then we'll have things like um, leaving all these gift cards around all these for people to find. We would love to, uh, while we're at the mall one month, um, have like body image quotes along with like Starbucks gift cards that we're tucking in jeans or around the mall somewhere just to encourage women and let them know that they're beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we'll do um, a pop-up, which we did this last year. We took uh, the Kona ice truck out, this um, snow cone uh, truck. Yes. Uh, and we went to Veterans Park and gave everyone free snow cones, free oh. Kona ice. Oh. And so that was so much fun. So we'll probably do that sometime in June. Um, so there's lots of little things that we have going on just to kind of promote kindness in the community and to remind people that there's still good in the world and still people that think outside themselves. Mm-hmm. So. Well, and I think it does what you do is inspire people to, as long as that's on the top of your mind, to be looking for some way that I can do something kind to somebody else. Yes. Like just as we're driving through and you get that little, oh, I should pay for the person behind me. Yes. Follow through on that. Yep. Yeah, just go ahead. It's harder now with double lines, but, you know, <laughs> let them figure out the logistics yes. of it. You know what I love to do also is buy a gift card for a certain amount and just give that to the cashier because you never know how much the person's going to be in right. line behind you. Especially I get a lot of people who say, like, what if someone's order at Starbucks is $20 because they're picking it up for the office? Yeah. Maybe buy a gift card for $5 and say, hey, can you give this to the person behind me? That way they can apply it towards the order Nice. Um, or have some even left over for the next time. So, yeah, just kind of generosity being a lifestyle and just reminding people to uh, look around and see the needs that are in our community or not necessarily tangible needs, but if you know someone that's sad or looks sad, uh, buy them a coffee or do something nice for them. I honestly believe, Olivia, that Holy Spirit gives us a little bit of a a nudge every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And we can either obey it or talk ourselves out of it. Exactly. And I think what you're doing gives us that t- listening. T- it kind of perks up our ears to yes. be listening a little bit mm-hmm. better. I credit Simply Give with this. Every time I go to Aldi's, there's always quarters. <laughs> there are always quarters stuck right in oh, those. Gosh. It's become almost a, a thing now. It's sort of like Aldi's protocol, leave a quarter in the cart yes. for the next person. Yes. And, you know, you really, you would see it at Christmas time and so forth. But I, I don't know a time where there's not a quarter sticking yep. in there. And I think that's simply give. Oh, thank you. I'll take the credit for that. <laughs> you got something going no, but, I mean, it, it really is the small things. It really is. Yes. That doesn't cost anything more than 25 cents. Exactly, exactly. But it sure can make the day for somebody who's rooting through their purse Mm -hmm. going, oh my gosh, don't I have a quarter? I can't even go to the grocery store. Yes. It just makes their day. It does. Well, this is awesome. Again, we want to remind everybody about specific things to be participating in, like Mardi Gras, which is taking place on Tuesday, February 25th, 6 to 9. Now, if the bin is already full, that means people are already filling it up. Yes. You can either participate that night or you can participate earlier. Yes, right. So if you're not able to make it that night on the 25th, um, feel free to get your items now and drop them off. I know that actually Kmart in um, North Canton is going out of business, so they had bras for like four dollars some two dollars and so we do post about sales that we find around town i know sears you know was going out of business so people were getting bras and underwear for 50 cents like you know because they clearanced them all out Mm -hmm. so we've been advertising it for about a month already um and so usually at our event we have almost 200 women so we wanted to be able to get the word out early to collect the equivalent that we would if we hosted a big event nice um so yeah there's so many sales so make sure and like that um facebook page and uh you can continue to see all the sales that are going on to give back. So you'll keep us apprised of sales. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll keep, uh, really, go to sim- like Simply Give and keep going to it to see what's yes. on sale, and then we can <laughs> buy a little something for ourselves and buy something exactly. for someone else at the same exactly. time. Are there some sizes that you need more than other sizes? So... We say that we do collect all sizes, and since we are giving to some youth organizations and to Maslin Middle School, um, it would be awesome, like sports bras or even like training bras, the Mm. thinner bras. Um, Also, it's very hard to find the larger good quality bras. Most places will have, you know, your A, B, C, even D. So if someone could find a larger size, that would be amazing um, because we usually get more of the smaller sizes. Mm -hmm. All righty. We will... To keep that in mind as well. Speaking with Olivia Hirschberger, she's from Simply Give, and we're going to take a short break. You're listening to Our Community. And welcome back to Our Community. Susie Thomas visiting with Olivia Hirschberger, talking about Simply Give. Um, head over to Belden Village Mall ahead of time, and you can take advantage of some wonderful sales, and particularly with women's feminine and personal products. Mm -hmm. Um, That's what they are uh, collecting for. Who are these going to go to? So we have several local organizations that we're going to be donating all these items to. Um, One that we've always given to since the beginning. Let me first say this is our sixth year doing this. Mm. So I should add up all the different items that we've gotten. Sorry, I just thought of that. Wow. Um, So our first year, actually, we had 35 women in in attendance and collected, I think, 300 items. And Mm. this year, six years later, we're hoping for 4,000. So we give to the YWCA Downtown Canton, Lighthouse Ministries, which is an amazing youth organization, Be a Better, Be a Better Me Foundation, um, the Domestic Violence Project, and then this year new, we are donating to Stark Metropolitan Housing Authority and Maslin Middle School. Wonderful. Yes. And so you can do that anytime. You can donate. The, the bin is right there in the center of the mall. So the bin is actually located right next to GNC, and there's a little salon called It's Jess Hair. And um, there will be a a mural painted by actually Tracy Brewer, a local artist. Uh, She made like a giving tree mural. And what's actually really cool about it, you can download an app and you hold your phone up to the mural and it actually comes to life. It changes seasons. It's really cool. Yes, it's awesome. So you'll have to check it out. And on that giving tree mural, you will see a little door with our logo. So you just open the door, drop your items in, snap a pic, send it to us, um, and you're done. Any hashtag we're supposed to use as we uh, send this to you or post it? So if your account is private, if you could direct message it to us. um, But you could hashtag Simply Give or Marty Bra 2020. Awesome. And you can go to a party there at the mall, yes. February 25th, 6 to 9. Remind us what's happening that night. Okay. So on that night, we're just going to basically do a little pop-up give. We're going to have a table. We're going to have some entertainment, some jazz music playing, do some giveaways and games, have some cotton candy, and just chat with uh, women that come out to our events and kind of get to know them a little bit better and see how we can partner more with each other. One of the things that comes to mind is how – much we invest in our undergarments. Mm -hmm. They're not cheap. Exactly. But you can get them cheap, but that's not good for us. When I'm thinking of, you know, just the nylon Mm -hmm. materials and some of the materials that we know are just not good for us. Yes. So we steer clear of that. But if a person is really working on a shoestring, living on a shoestring, that might be what they are used to wearing. We want to provide healthy undergarments yes. for everyone. So yes. tell us what we should look for. So I know that even Marks has Hanes underwear. They're cotton underwear, like five packs for around $5. Um, and like I said, pretty much any store you can go to, you can look in their cotton underwear section. I know they're more comfortable, they're healthy. Um, and so, um, yes, any any cute pair is welcome. You know, even basic pairs mm-hmm. would be great. You could do cute cotton. Yes, that, for that sure. That does exist. Yes. Very good. Okay, but steer clear of the nylon lacy kind of stuff because it's just not good for us. Yes. All right. We'll make a note of that as well. (laughs) Um, Then you also wanted feminine hygiene products. Yes. So I don't know about you, but I did not realize that government assistance does not cover feminine hygiene products. Isn't that crazy? So could you imagine not being able to buy those items? I read this article how young girls were like wrapping up cotton pillowcases and you know, you know what you've done before, like in the case of a emergency gobs of toilet paper and so we just feel like this is such a practical need in our community that really isn't talked about Uh, but so many women have this need and so we love that we can be a blessing to these women in this practical way Um, and so 
this event was actually inspired by women who started it in L.A., and I just thought that's such a great idea to host like something like a Mardi Gras Fun Girls Night, and then I saw the need in our own community. So um, we love that we can be a blessing, especially to these middle school students. You know, maybe if um, some of their parents can't afford feminine products or they start at school, um, just to have little kits that the guidance school counselor can give out. And you're working directly with the school for those? Yes. At the yes. same time? Mm-hmm. And these other pantries from the different yeah. organizations? Yes. So, so um, let's give them a shout out one more time. Okay. So the places that we're donating to this year are the YWCA Downtown Canton, Lighthouse Ministries, which is a youth organization in um, Canton, Be a Better Me Foundation, the Domestic Violence Project, Stark Metropolitan Housing Authority, and Maslin Middle School. Wow. And we, we hope to grow each year to be able to add on more and more organizations that we give to. Um, and what happens sometimes is after we post about this event, I will actually get private messages from people asking for these items. And I wish that we could be there to meet everyone's needs. So we give to organizations to give to individuals. Yes. Um, but that just shows how much it's needed when people are reaching out like, hi, can I get some you know, feminine products? It's actually kind of crazy once you think about it that such a basic item is a need. Yes. Yes. And again, it's one of those things that if it's not on top of our mind, we're not thinking about it. But exactly. you really are thinking about it when you have the need and the need is immediate. Exactly. You're not thinking about anything else mm-hmm. at that point. Exactly. I'm amazed at how you've grown. Thank you. How Thank many you. organizations I didn't count as you were listing them. So you are connected to how many now? I don't know. Between all of our different outreaches, <gasps> there's probably close to 20 or 30 maybe. Amazing. Um, that's over the last, what, five or, you know, this is, we're going into our sixth year. So we have definitely partnered with lots of amazing organizations. And uh, we love partnering with other nonprofits just to help them, you know, fulfill their needs or to get the word out out about their organizations. Mm -hmm. Another one of the wonderful events you do, and I don't know anyone who hasn't been affected in some way by cancer. Yes. You have an amazing cancer outreach. Yes. So um, the first year that we started our um, Simply Give, we hosted the Mardi Gras, and our second event that we hosted was called uh, Women of Strength. So we bring women together to kind of hear their testimony of how they use their faith in God to battle cancer. Um, And we actually, this last year, brought in another organization just to kind of hear, um, actually, it was LeVar Jacobs of Not Just October, how he started his nonprofit in uh, honor of his mother. So um, we bring women in, organizations in, to talk about how they're impacting the community, and then we assemble chemotherapy care bags. The first year we did this, we assembled 50 bags. In the past three years, I believe it's been three, that we've done 500 bags. (laughs) And so it's so (laughs) awesome to bring women together. And Susie, actually, Actually, you volunteered. Explain how this works because it's brilliant. Okay. It's done. They're done. These 500 bags are done in seconds. Was it like 11 minutes? Uh, yes. I think so, that was it. Yeah. Susie was in charge <laughs> of um, helping pass out the bags. And then after they were done assembling would direct these ladies where to put the bags. So what happens is we have speakers, we have a meal, and then we kind of have an assembly line of uh, making these chemotherapy care bags. So we had, I think, 150 women this past year we sold out. And so we have 150 women assembling 500 bags. And this past year, they literally did that in 11 minutes. It went so quick. So they'll go through the line, they'll grab a bag. And this year we put in cozy blankets. um, And then we had little gift sets with cozy socks, hand sanitizer, a locally made chapstick, um, and then we always do a a note of encouragement. Mm -hmm. So these ladies literally flew through the line. (laughs) And actually, we had to say only one bag at a time because so many, some women were taking two or three or four bags. And so some people didn't get the opportunity to even make them. So we thought this past year, we're like, okay, we'll say one at a time. (laughs) And so even with that, I mean, they were done so quick, but it's something that these women love to do. There's just something that's fun. And then you know that it's going Mm -hmm. to like such a great cause you know it's going straight into the hands of a woman that's battling and you can like it's like you're personally encouraging them and uplifting them and supporting them Um, and then my favorite part of the evening is when we pray over the bags just that when the women get the bags that they feel peace and hope and that their strength is renewed and just to let them know that God is with them no matter what they may face that God is with them all the way through Mm mm-hmm And again, the collaboration's been amazing. Talk about how you work with the hospitals. So we originally gave to Mercy 
um, Cancer Center, Altman Cancer Center, and like two local organizations. And I should count, but I think this year we gave to about 10 different organizations or hospitals. And then we actually, for the first year, uh, took some all the way up to Cleveland Clinic. Mm. So we hope that we can reach pretty much um, – Half, at least half of Ohio, if not the whole thing, um, if we can host these big events and get more funding and all that stuff. So um, it's been just such a blessing to be able to interact with these people who run the cancer centers and kind of meet some people occasionally um, due to patient privacy. It's not like we can go straight in the cancer center and talk to people. But the one time we were transporting the bags and um, – these uh, all these women were like, what are those? What are those? So I was like, is it okay if they come and pick one out? So they got to pick out. Th- that's when we did multicolored uh, or different uh, types of bags. But now mm-hmm. it's all all one um, the same bag, and so it was really cool just to kind of see them and see the smiles that it brought to their face. Um, and so yeah, it's just been it's been such a big blessing to reach out to women. Um, in this way. And if you follow our page or if you were at any of our events, my mother-in-law actually passed away last December from breast cancer. And so um, it's just, you know, cancer has affected so many families. And I know when she went to her appointments, they weren't always good. So to know that someone would love on her (laughs) without knowing her um, would make my heart so happy. You know, if she had gotten, well, she actually did get one of our bags. I gave it to her. But if she went to an appointment and just got like this random bag full of encouragement and cozy stuff, I just, that would make my heart happy. Yeah. Absolutely. And the biggest feedback that we get on those is, um, like I said, we do a handwritten note. And so women will message us and say, I was, for my first chemotherapy appointment, I was so scared and I was praying for God to be with me. Like I knew he was, but I wanted a sign that he was with me. And then I got your note that said, God is with you. You are strong and wow. courageous. Wow. And so um, it's just, it's been really powerful. Yeah. We don't even realize when we're writing those small little notes exactly how meaningful that's mm-hmm. going to be. Yes. That's not just an, oh, and we add this. Yes. That's a huge part of it, isn't For it? For sure, it is. Just, it makes it way more personal and just like that note was meant just for them. And mm-hmm. so I feel like when women are filling out the cards, it's a lot of pressure. They're like, what do I write? And I'm like, anything you want, even if it's simple, like the simplest things sometimes can speak to our heart. Um, and so that's been a huge blessing. And trust God, he's going to get your message to the right person. Yes. That's going to be just what they need. Olivia, just in our closing minute, <laughs> what does this mean to you to see how this has grown and to your family to, for their involvement with it? I just feel really grateful that like God would entrust me with something like this. And at first, the idea seemed so big. And I thought, should I even start something like this? Will I touch any lives? But the most important thing is it doesn't matter if you're touching one life or 500 or your whole community. The most important thing is that you're taking a step and you're being a blessing to somebody else and you're showing the love of Jesus to other people. Check out the Facebook page for Simply Give. Olivia Hirschberger, I want to see you take this around the country. (laughs) Thanks so much for what you do in our community. Thank you, Susie.